Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dana Lees. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my minimum curly hair routine and still get the best curl definition and volume without having to use as many products. This is my first YouTube video, so I thought why not do something that's nearest and dearest to my heart and that is my beautiful curly hair. If you're interested in seeing how I get the most out of these products, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I am starting off with freshly washed hair. It has air dried a little bit because I was doing my makeup, but for shampoo and conditioner, I used the Love Beauty and Planets and the Coconut Milk and White Jasmine. I actually just started using these products before I was using Maui, but I wanted to try something a little bit different and I heard a lot of great reviews on this. So, so far so good. As you can see, I'm almost done with the conditioner. Um, so I really do love these products. So after I condition my hair, I use the Shea Moisture Intense Hydration Leave-In Milk. And I like to do this in the shower just because I have a lot of shedding. I've always had a lot of shedding, so it's not really something I'm concerned about. As you can see, I have a lot of hair and it's just always been that way. So like I said, after I condition, I put this in throughout my hair, leave it for a few minutes, finish showering, and then I'll kind of like finger comb it in the shower. Now, when my hair dries up a little bit, I will put a little bit more of this product in. My hair is really thick, so it can take that amount of product. And the specific um, leave-in is for dry and damaged hair. I did just have to dye my hair, so I'm doing a little bit more to it just to keep it hydrated and healthy. So I use about a dime size amount, uh, maybe like a quarter, not a dime. And then I just run that throughout my hair. Just to add a little bit more moisture. And then what I like to do is split my hair down the middle into two sections, just like this. And then I'll take my spray bottle. If you're a curly girl, always gotta have your spray bottle. And I just spray it a little bit more because it has dried up. Then I will just take my wide tooth comb and I'll start combing my hair. I start from the ends of my hair and work my way up. That way I have less breakage. is done i'm just gonna do the same exact thing to the other side and then i'll be back when i finish all right so now that i have finished combing through my hair i'm gonna put in the aussie curls curl defining oil even though i have a lot of hair a little goes a long way so i'm using about that much and I'm just going to warm the product up in my hand and finger comb it through. Now, putting the oil in my hair at this point may not work for most people, but this is just kind of like what works for me to ensure that I get like those really healthy, shiny, tight curls. Um, I also put in a little bit at the end, but with me just doing it this way, it kind of helps um, get that shine throughout my hair. And then at the end, I won't have to play with it too much and get it frizzy. All right, you guys, so the next product I'm using is gonna be my styling product. And I know I'm hella late to the game, but my friend put me onto this product about two years ago and it has since changed my curly hair game forever. Like I never wanna give it up because I love it so much. It's the Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. And before that, I was using Shea Moisture Curl Defining Smoothie, but I wasn't getting those like really soft ringlets. So my friend said, girl, use this. And ever since then, this has been my holy grail with the denim brush. Now I get this at Target, but sometimes it's really hard to find because I know a lot of like top curly girl YouTubers, they use this. But when I do find it, I tend to stock up on it because I love it so much. This is absolutely perfect for my hair. So what I'll do just to make it easier on myself is I will just put one side up so it doesn't get in the way. Just take a little clip. 
that side up and then I split this side into two. And I really have to section my hair off because I have so much hair and it's so thick. I wanna make sure that I get the styling product. I wanna make sure that I get the styling product all the way through every inch of my hair. All right, awesome. So what I like to do is just wet it a little bit more. My roots tend to dry really fast and then the rest of my hair takes forever to dry. But I just make sure that it's really soaked. That way the product really soaks into my hair as it dries. This is literally just like the worst part is like getting like completely soaked as you're doing it. So then I take the Pillow Soft Curls. My hair can take a lot of product, so I use about this much for each section. Sometimes more depending on what state my hair is at that moment. And what I like to do personally is just kind of start at the roots more um, because my roots tend to not be as curly as my ends. I just work that product through. And then I take the handy dandy Denman brush. I know a lot of people are against that curly girl method right now, but this is what works for me. And I get the most definition when I use the Denman brush to style my curls. So what I like to do is kind of just section that part, brush it like two or three times just to get that product through. And then what I'll do is just kind of take it up, throw it around. Let that fall and do the same thing to the other one. And then I will just sort of like scrunch my hair up just to help enforce the curls. Now I'm still technically in my curly hair journey because I dye my hair a lot, I'm not gonna lie and does a lot of damage to your curls. So it's right now at a natural color and I'm hoping to keep it like this as long as possible. Um, you guys, I'm not perfect. I absolutely love red hair and that's just like screaming damage for your curls. But you know, I gotta make small sacrifices. So once I do that, just kind of let it sit. And then I will move on to the section above that. product like directly on the roots on my head because I don't want it to weigh down but I put it about like an inch or two and then go down from there and then after I kind of scrunch the little bit of product that's left on my hands I will then enforce on my roots because I don't want my hair to be super weighed down there's already a lot of hair on my head and I like my hair to be very like voluminous with my curls so do a brush about two or three times and then I'm gonna kind of do a little loop to loop, just brushing the product through, and then let me scratch. And so, as you can see, I have some pieces that don't really like stay curled. I just finger curl them in the direction that the curl is. And that's just kind of to help enforce a little curl. Let's do it again. So during times that my hair is like super damaged or super dry, I'll just keep um, finger coilings just to kind of help enforce the curl. And I don't really have to do every strand. I just do the pieces that are kind of like, they need some help. They need some enforcing. So now I'm going to take the next section and do the same thing.
top is usually where I finger coil the most because that's what needs the most help. My hair gets super weighed down from the top, so I will usually take the time to really focus on finger coiling my hair up here. The top actually isn't too bad today. You really only want to touch and kind of like play with the piece. This is actually pretty good. I know it looks like super flat here, but I'll show you at the end like how I kind of like make that voluminous. So these are kind of like the wet curls that I have going on at the moment. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, so next I take my diffuser. This one's from Revlon. I usually only use the warm and cool settings. I don't really use the hot, so I don't have to add any extra heat damage to my hair. And what I'll do is just kind of hold my head to the side, start with my roots and just go over my hair without touching it and scrunching it yet. Just so kind of it forms like a little bit of a cast over the product. Once my roots are dry, I will then start going over the ends. And then once I feel like my hair is about 40, 50% dry, I'll start by like slightly scrunching my hair and just letting it dry like that. I try not to touch it too much but I just want to show you guys like how it's drying because I don't want a lot of frizz so personally I just like to air dry my hair for the rest of it and I'll just leave it exactly like this I'm not gonna touch it I'm not gonna like try to flip it to its side I'm just gonna leave it like this but and then I will be back to show you guys like the finished product all right y'all I'm back it is a few hours later so as you can see my hair has dried mostly about 95% dry. I always wait until it's like 100% but just for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna show you what I do next. What I do next is go in with the pick. I usually use a pick that's a little bit wider than this but I cannot find it or I'll just go in with my fingers and kind of like fluff it out. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that so that way I can get some volume and the hair isn't like sticking to my roots. <laughs> to do is depending on the day but nine times out of ten it's this side has more volume i kind of like to just like flip it and i'll do it very carefully and just follow like your natural line you don't want a lot of frizz as you can see right here i do have a little bit of frizz going on but what i'll do is flip it side that i want and then i'll either go in with the pick again or my fingers um, today I'm just going to go in with my fingers and kind of even fluff it out a little bit more. Still making sure that your fingers are touching the roots and then like fluffing it out from there. <laughs> Take a little bit more of the Aussie Miracle Curls Curl Defining Oil and just a little bit because I don't want it to weigh down my hair. And I mean a little bit, I mean a little bit. So I take literally like that much, rub it all over my hands. And I'll kind of just go over the curls that are a little bit frizzy and the areas that are a little bit frizzy. I hope you guys can kind of see like the different curl patterns in my hair and how defined the curls are. for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed watching my minimum curly hair routine during this quarantine if you guys did don't forget to give it a like comment share and subscribe i would really really appreciate it i'm looking forward to doing more curly hair videos for you guys if you guys have any suggestions please feel free to leave them in the comments thank you